So, congratulations to your first mix. We are in tutorial 2J. Hello Reaper, render your mix. Now it's time to render the mix and uh, Reaper allows us to render not only audio but also movie files. So you can do both. You can render your project into a WAV file containing only the audio stereo master track or you can render your audio into the video and send it somewhere like this which I think is handy because uh, you don't have to go back into your uh, editing software when the uh, image is finished you can easily do your masters from Reaper. One thing you might not know is that we produce all these tutorials in Reaper so Reaper is not only uh, an editing software for audio, but also for video, which I think is uh, very handy because during the whole process of the last two months, when I've learned Reaper myself, I edited a lot of videos and I learned the shortcut in the, in the same time editing video, which was really cool. So I hope so far you also had uh, as much fun in Reaper as I had when I learned it. I'm quite in the same situation uh, as you because I, I was really a newbie to Reaper, but of course I knew the concepts uh, of uh, audio DAWs very well before. And I hope you've, uh, you've gotten uh, quite some concepts also uh, by now with, with having done all these tutorials. So now for the render. We want to render now the audio mix and we want to do this in a time selection. We've learned that we can double click a file and press shift and this creates the time selection of my video. Be careful. It's possible that at some point you created a loop where you dragged the, the, the file too far out and then of course you don't have the, the proper time you're gonna render because what's important when when we put the master audio files in our archive the frame count needs to be exactly the same as in my video file only like that we have the, the proper sync reference between audio and image. Also sometimes it produces glitches in, uh, in DCPs which are the containers for MOF uh, files and audio mixes for cinematic use. So in the theater we watch a DCP and it can produce glitches in the end when the audio and video is not the same length. So please check that your video is always the correct length and then the audio files too. When you click in the image or in, in, the, in the movie file, you see how long it is. It's two minutes, 37 seconds and 16 frames. I also propose you have your, your uh, videos on a second. So this is not very good in, in this video. Could be 238, for example. And then you know, ah, oh, that's my time. That's what I, uh, I need to have in the, in the audio renders. Okay, so shift, double click, and then a new shortcut, command, option, R. Opens up my render dialog. In my render dialog, I have already set up the, the correct uh, presets and I'm gonna go through with you. We wanna record the master mix. So what's coming out, of my master channel is what I want to record. I want to keep in the bounds of my time selection, which is my film file. I want to give it a proper name. So today is the 17th of uh, September. The bounds, as you say it on top, is that the time selection you just made before in the edit window? Exactly. That's, right. that's the time selection. Good question, because that was not 100% clear. It's a time selection I've chosen in my edit window. Right. So, date, project name, 
row spaces Gasman Thomas. That's where I ran it to. Choose the, the folder uh, you have. Sample rate is 48,000 Hertz. Stereo. Resample mode, that's okay. With a good resampling, meaning it will oversample during the rendering. Primary output format is a WAV file. It's 24 bits. And what I also tick is add rendered items to new tracks in project. So it will create a new track, add the render, so we can double check whether everything is, is, is fine. I'm gonna do this now. Render the file. I can close this window. It rebuilds the peaks and adds it, I guess, down here. Yeah, there it is. That's my mix. I can solo it and listen to it. Thy soul shall find itself alone mid dark thoughts of the grey tombstone. Sounds fine on very small speakers. It's much too loud, but it's, it's not a proper mix. We can actually check how, how loud it is. You have the extensions. I can go in here and, and check my loudness. It should be roughly around... Uh, so it's this one. Analyze selected items. See, it's at minus 11.8. So it's about three decibels too loud compared to the minus 15, I've been mixing the, the master file. But of course I didn't mix it, I just hit render. So when it looks like this in your window, then you're probably a bit too loud. Loofs is a term for loudness units under full scale. So zero would be white noise at zero dBFS, so 24 bits used, and it means it's loud, loud, loud. And what does the integrated exactly mean? The integrated means you count over the whole time, you have lower parts and louder parts, and they are averaged together to right. find uh, these minus 12 loops. So some parts are too loud, I can hear it on the, on the headphones very well. Yeah. Listen to it on headphones, you're going to hear it's zzz, it, it crackles, meaning there is overloads. So I didn't put uh, a limiter and I was too loud in, in my outputs. That's the one you need to look at if you want to check in the end whether you hit the minus 15. Okay, so that's my render for my... WAV file, I'm gonna do the same for the movie file now. So I choose on the format MPEG-4. And I don't wanna see this one. AAC is a good codec for, uh, for MPEG-4, but maybe we want a little bit a higher bit rate I propose put it to 256. Jeroen, do you think? That's good. That's okay, huh? So, uh, bitrate to 256. Overwrite. That's a cool window here. Because yeah. you really see the, the process. That was quite fast, 5.5 times real time. Mm -hmm. When you have a lot of plugins inside your mix, then it's going to be... Uh, uh, much slower. Okay, so that's for the render, that's for the loudness. Now, last thing is save my project and then save project as, because that's like uh, doing your backup or your hand in. I put my name here and the project. 
and I tick two boxes, create subdirectory and copy all media into project directory. I don't want to convert anything and the subdirectory should go one above this folder because otherwise it, it ends up in here which is not really a good way of organizing your stuff. So assets, reaper learning tutorials, it will go in here, save it. And like that I see everything. I see your rendered mix, uh, I can check your, your voice edit, your uh, reverbs, uh, your send return settings and I can give you a nice proper feedback on your work which I'm looking forward to. My last step before uh, loading the whole folder on the server is I take this folder I see okay there's my Reaper project file and there's my whole assets all the WAV files and the MOV files I've been using I can right click it Take some time. Okay. Compress. Do a do a zip file and load it on our server in the respecting folder, which will tell you uh, by when you when you do the these tutorials you already already know. Okay, so thanks a lot for watching. We're looking forward to your mixes, your project files your creative exercise. Thanks a lot for watching, thanks a lot for taking your time and we'll be seeing each other soon. Bye bye! Bye bye!